，我忘了这些对。which I pretty much learned from the Billy Strings version, um, which is pretty similar to the Doc Watson version, I guess. But uh, I would call that um, Carter style, okay? A bluegrass version of Carter style, where you play the melody and you follow with strums. And you have the strum after every melody note. And Carter style, it goes back to Maybell Carter, and it's great if you don't have like a band. <laughs> like she was the only guitar player in the band, and so she had to learn how to play rhythm and melody at the same time, so it works great. And what I want to talk about is some ways that bluegrass musicians go past that. Uh, bluegrass and folk musicians and uh, guitar players and everybody, okay? With a flat pick. And the way, one way we do that is instead of strumming, we do some picks, okay? So instead of what I would call is a hammer strum. going to do instead is instead of strumming the next two strums I'm going to pick the next two notes so listen to the difference now with the strums, here's with the picks. Okay, both are really effective and that technique I just did there with the picks is very commonly used by modern bluegrass guitar players. So I call it like a modified Carter style, okay? And then there's other roles we can add. So here's a roll on the D chord. I call this four across. You just start on the D note, and I go four notes that way, or hold the D chord here. Okay? But wait, there's more. I'm going to add another roll. There's a roll I like. I call it an in and out roll. So, let's see where I use this. Okay, I'm gonna do it right on the D note. So here's the D note. Here's my in and out roll. I'm holding part of the G chord here. So it's that note. So now listen to this. Carter style. Here is with the picks instead of the strums. And here is with both rolls, that in and out roll added into this. So it creates more of a modern sound, more of a ringing sound, and it's really effective. Um, and so anywhere we do Carter style, we can do this. So the most common Carter style song is uh, Wildwood Flower. Okay, everybody has learned Wildwood Flower at some point, something like this. Well, 
I can, instead of the strums, add the picks. <laughs> I can add, in fact, I just did, I did one of those four cross rolls. I can add that in and out roll in. And by doing that now, I've got essentially only three patterns so far. And I can create a much more interesting um, guitar arrangement of a song by following the melody, holding a little piece of the chord and adding one of those rolls. So what we're doing this month now, I'm doing a class in May where I teach a song like this. We take a song that will work well for Carter style and we're gonna add these rolls to it and you'll see right how to do this. And uh, I think one of the ones we're doing is Bonaparte Crossing the Rhine, which is something like this. Let's see. Drums. I could do it with rolls. And maybe some of the in and out and four cross rolls we'll add in here. So you can see pretty quickly, now we'll learn this stuff slow, you can see pretty quickly we could take a basic melody and start to make it have all these rolls with it. Now here's what I like about this. It stands on its own. When you play bluegrass guitar, mostly you're playing with uh, other people. Well, the fact is a lot of us don't have other, other people to play with around. Well, this is a way to play bluegrass guitar um, all by yourself and you fill out the whole song all by yourself. So that's that. Um, I will post the tab to Tom Dooley um, where you can see kind of the three stages here. Um, so get that tab, but then check out that class too, and, and, and you can learn how to add that. I've probably only got, oh, four or five, six different roles that I do to add into this, okay? It's not an unlimited number of roles, but you'll really like it. It's a lot of fun. Check it out. I'll uh, kind of take us home with a little, little more Tom Dooley. One, two, three, four. Um.